Dude, <laughs> not mad at Charlie. I want to preface that. Charlie DM'd me at 5 p.m. Hey, is it all right to talk about your balls? And I was like, yeah. I just feel weird when, like, minors on Twitter are talking about my balls. The same exact minute that he asked me, he uploaded the video. <laughs> he had that shit ready to go. He went through the eight minutes of, he's got the balls the size of King Kong. He had it gripped and ready. What if I said no? All right. What leak could he possibly be talking about? Let's find out. A couple days ago, a YouTuber, and more importantly, a dear friend of mine, experienced every content creator's worst nightmare, a private picture leaking. When I heard the news that Ludwig's nutsack had leaked on... <laughs> not really one for the subtlety, eh, Charlie? I was like, <laughs> just gotta... Just gotta jump right into it. ...on the Twitter, I panicked. I damn near did damage control for him and started formulating excuses like, no, no, no. You know, it's just the angle the, the picture was taken that makes his nuts look small. Uh, it's uh, it's an optical illusion. He had just taken a cold shower, so his balls shrunk a little bit. Like, I, I was ready to go to bat for him, but I didn't need to. He didn't need excuses. <laughs> All right, let's say he didn't even give context. Uh, he's just jumping right into how big my nuts are. Now, it wasn't by his own choosing. This wasn't his plan. It wasn't like some kind of mogul mail move here to get content out of it. He was on the Cold Ones podcast, and during the Patreon cut, he playfully pulled his sack out, and it's it's on full display. It's very bold, very proud. And Chad had asked if he wanted them censored in the Patreon cut, to which Ludwig replied, yeah. But Chad <laughs> apparently misunderstood what he was saying here, so then told the editor not to bother censoring it. So then on the Patreon cut, his, his nuts were just fully there. All right, let's back it up a moment. All right, I bring my little tookus down to Australia for a tournament that's going on there that I'm streaming on my channel. And when I announce I'm going, I get hit up by Max Mofo to go on cold ones. Now, I'm a big Max Mofo fan. So, I, you know, at first I was hesitant, but then I decided I would go on. I'd make the trip from Sydney over to Melbourne to go on the cold ones podcast. And if you don't know about the, Golden's pod, uh, the cold ones podcast... It originally started as a spoof on Hot Ones, but rather than eat hot sauce, they would drink massive amounts of alcohol. So pretty much nothing to do with Hot Ones, but they would get fucked up. They would get very drunk, incredibly drunk. And I knew this going in. I knew this going in. And if you haven't seen the Cold Ones episode, I walk in with a plan, a simple plan. I said, I'm only going to have eight drinks today. Maximum, that's it. I ain't gonna have eight drinks. Max and Chad, hearing this information, did this, <laughs> which made me nervous, but I thought I would stay devout to my Bible of eight drinks maximum. The one thing on my rules of things I need to do that day. Don't have more than eight drinks. Starts out great, swimmingly so. Up until they hit me with a couple twists. All right, first one, they say, hey, we're doing this new thing where we see how fast people can chug beard. Now, me being the competitive person I am, I want a good score. I do end up chugging beer, I would argue, pretty fast. That's allowed. I'll allow it. That's actually, that was kind of... Pretty fast. All right, not that great, but, you know, it's all right. But what it did do is it showed them that I'm capable of a little more drinking than I might have let on. It showed them that, yes, I did go to the Harvard of the Southwest a.k.a. Arizona State University, and that my eight-drink limit might not be as strong of a line as I was trying to let them know. But everything went downhill when they hit me with this surprise segment where they asked me questions for my hit game show, Mogul Money, to see if I actually knew, on hindsight, the answers to the questions that I was expecting other people to know. So we go through that, and eventually, because of my failures, etc., they forced me to take a shot of alcohol that they picked out. I will let Falco, with stick and poke, right now, if you do a shot with me, put the yard on my ass. <laughs> oh my god! And I have to offer nothing in return. You have to do a shot. I have what alcohol? The worst pommy guard. I'm gonna throw up, Max. You have to do wait, that. Wait, let that me, let me get a tattoo on his again. body. That's again. fair. Lovely. Fine, but so they offer me an amazing trade here that I will cash in on, a tattoo on. Chad's ass in exchange for a shot of alcohol. 
I have not cashed in on this tattoo. I am fully planning on cashing in on this tattoo, but that was the deal. But I also get to kiss Max on the lips. Okay, that's... No comment. All right, cheers. It is lit on fire, just for the record. Ooh. <laughs> that was kind of tight. Cheers. I'm already drunk at this point, if you can't tell. But they offer me a shot of alcohol that is 80 proof. Or 80%, I should say. It's 160 proof. It is basically gasoline. And I'm pretty drunk. And normally, I'd probably be able to take two more shots of vodka, which might be an equivalent amount of alcohol to enter into your liver, into your system. But the sheer taste of this is so god-awful, so abysmal, so terrible, that I instantly throw up. Cheers! My still on fire. Ludwig. Ludwig. Cheers. Cheers, mate. And look at these guys. Bloody ripper. He didn't drink at all. He didn't drink at all. Look at these Australian peer pressurers. More Ludwig. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, Ludwig. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 Ludwig! Ludwig! Legend! You're a beauty! Woo! Now the next scene in this is me throwing up into a bucket and then and then Max Mofo eating some of my throw up, which we won't get into because that's a little bit graphic. But the night derails, I end up uh, getting a little bit rowdy, and at some point during the night, I just whip out my ball sack. Is there a reason for me whipping out my ball sack? No, there wasn't. But I was really fucking piss drunk, and I thought it'd be funny to pull out my ball sack, so I pulled out my ball sack. This is not something new to my life, but it is the first time I've ever done it on a camera before. And so after the podcast, I will say, even though they are peer pressuring Australians, Max and Chad are incredibly sweet. They're very sweet humans. They took care of me for the rest of the night. They tucked me into bed. And they asked me after the show was edited by hit editor Prezzo if I wanted to review the YouTube cut. It was in total a 50-minute video. So I watched through the entirety of the video. And I, and, I, and, I, and I took diligent notes. And I said, you know what? I am okay with this being posted. And I said, thank you. And after that okay, they uploaded the video. They were so diligent in making sure that I had reviewed it before they uploaded it. They asked me four separate occasions on two different accounts. And they asked me one more thing. It was a message directly from Chad. And it said, Cold One's Patreon has your balls in it. Want them censored? To which I very simply replied, yeah, LOL. And then Chad replied, you're a true blue legend. Now, I don't know what makes me a legend for wanting my balls to be censored, but I went along with it. I thought it was some Australian term. Heaps, heaps of good fun. You're a legend as, I don't know, Drop Bear. I thought it was a clear-cut conversation. And for 10 days, I believed that. And for 10 days, I thought everything was good in the world. Because I am not a Patreon member to Cold Ones. And 10 days later, I noticed my name on the trending page of Twitter.com. Now, it's a scary thing to see your name on the trending page of Twitter.com when you haven't streamed that day or uploaded a video. I click on it. I see about five people in total talking about my balls. I don't think too much of it. I think, yeah, they probably just are subscribed to the Patreon, saw my blurred balls, made a comment about it, move on. The night continues. I go to edit a thumbnail. While I'm editing the thumbnail, Cutie walks in. She says, have you seen your balls? And I go, every morning. She goes, no, that's not what I mean. And I look at Twitter again. And I notice the amount of people who are talking about my balls has 20 x and I'm like, oh, there might be something more to this. So I dig through a little bit deeper, and I find a, and I won't hold back here, dumb piece of shit, Has TWT, a.k.a. Hassan's Twitter group member, who is way too horny, who posted my balls in GIF format online. A paywalled ball, mind you, that was posted against my will. I go to bed. Think to myself, I will wake up, this will have blown over. I wake up to Ludwig Trending, with 15,000 tweets about it. For whatever reason, my balls hit Minecraft Twitter. Minecraft Twitter has an average age of like 11. Why are they discussing my balls? I don't know the answer to this. I don't even fucking play Minecraft half the time, but all I'm seeing is, wow, crazy day. George not found's birthday and Ludwig's balls. And all of a sudden, I started to get a little overwhelmed, you know? Because here's the thing. I don't. I think balls are funny, but 
I have had privilege for the entirety of my streaming career of being a guy. It's often talked about, often known, usually from a women's perspective, about how hard it is to be a woman streamer. We maybe know this surface level, but we don't think about it deeply. I experienced, in a very small way, what it must be like to be a woman. Because I don't want my ball sack to be sexualized. But when I went on Twitter.com, that shit was sexualized. Heavily. And grossly by some minors. Stop talking about my balls. You're literally taking pre-algebra. And I thought, oh... What if you were just born with giant, big-ass bazooka boobs? <laughs> you probably have people being gross about them all the time. That fucking sucks. Now, this is what I really wanted to focus on here. Not even so much the testicle flesh parachute itself, more so how he's handled the situation. So Chad has profusely apologized for it. I'm sure he, pretty, he feels pretty terrible for it. Chad sent me DMs that I can't repeat, but they went along the lines of, I want to fucking kill myself. I'm so sorry. I'm going to kill myself. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm such a fucking idiot. I fucked up. I've never done anything good in my life. I'm so sorry. So I'm not mad at Chad at all. He is an idiot, but I'm not mad at him. Like, it'd be extremely on brand if my scrotum leaked. Like, I, that's True. just one of those things, like, you're kind of expecting. I'm honestly shocked Ludwig's sack is out there before mine. I never... T honestly, I thought my sack would leak at some point. I just thought I would have more ownership over the leak, you know? Like, the fact that my sack leaked and I didn't even get, like, a couple hundred thousand likes on Twitter. Like, what the hell, man? Isn't that the whole goal of it? I don't even get Twitter likes for it. I mean, I dropped one meme about it. Because I found this picture of a pig with giant nuts and I said, I heard y'all been talking about me. But 59K barely scratches the tip. All right. No pun intended. We're not really making bank off this one. But yeah, just overall, I wanted to talk about the situation a little bit because I truly applaud the way Ludwig has handled this whole situation. I think he's done a great job with all of it. It doesn't seem like he's got super salty about it. He's not like DMCA striking anyone that talks about his nuts or anything like that, and it doesn't seem like he's harboring any ill will towards Chad or anyone on the Cold Ones team for the for the situation, so just want to talk about that a bit. That's it. See ya. Well, that's about it, so if you happen to see my nuts, here's my advice to you. Keep it with you. Take it to the grave. Alright? Maybe drop a big balls joke, but don't come to me with that horny energy. Alright? I, I, I refute it. I, I throw it right back at you. And, and, and that's it. And those are my nuts. Those are my nuts. I will say, I did lose a sponsor because my nuts got out. A sponsor did back out of a deal because they saw that my nuts were leaked and, and now they're out. So that's a little bit of an L. So in exchange, you can buy my chess boxing ticket seats. My chess boxing ticket seats for my chess boxing event that's going to be the largest event I've ever done release tomorrow. They release literally tomorrow, November 4th. And you can buy them. And you can come to Los Angeles to the, to, the, to the Galen Center where USC plays to see some of the greatest chess boxing matches in history. So anyway, uh, that's, that's how you, you can make it up for me. If, if you see my balls, at least consider getting a ticket. All right? That's, that's the only rule. All right, that's all. All right, see you later. That's it. That's it.